Hi. Emil Berliner, born on the 20th of May 1851 and died in August 1929, was born in Hanover in Germany. <clears throat> and with a friend of his fa father's, he emigrated to America and worked in his shop in Washington, D.C., where he then moved to New York, where he became an inventor <clears throat> and filed several patents, one of which was a rotary engine for use in planes and auto gyros. The engine made by Fay Oliver Farewell for the Adams Automobile Company. Um, so Berliner and Farewell set about developing and adapting them for vertical takeoff. Uh, an another invention he made was uh, microphones. He developed one of the first microphones. He then done experiments in sound recording by coating a disc of tinfoil with lamp black, then spun it by hand crank with a stylus laid on it and spoke into a horn receptacle attached to the stylus to see if he could trace a sine wave in the lamp black of his speech. A sine wave looks like that. That is a sine wave. <clears throat> and then to his amazement it worked. So he was credited in developing one of the first, as we know it today, gramophone records, the flat disc. Then Along came Thomas Elva Edison, an inventor, a good businessman, who had more clout and more backing than Berliner. Edison, born on the 11th of February 1949 and died on the 18th of October 1931, was forefront in developing the electric light and the generator system and the incandescent light bulb. So he took Berliner's system of the sound recording and improved it. And by cutting sound recordings and grooves on a cylindrical tube of wax and then placing them on a mandrel, more or less like a, a screw cutting lathe. And uh, they traversed along the mandrel at the same speed as the grooves on the wax thus giving a reproduction of the recording on the wax. Now I have here <clears throat> some of Edison's cylindrical records, a few of them there. And this little bottle here is just a little bottle of cleaning fluid uh, for the records. These are the records, they're made of wax. And this is one of <clears throat> Edison's phonographs, a small one, it's called the Edison Gem. Now if I place this on the mandrel and then I sit this stylus arm along there and switch it on, it starts to spin.
Right, I will take the record now off the mandrel. And place it back in its little tub. These are all records. Uh, some of them are what are called blue amberol. That's a blue amberol record. Slightly harder, slightly better quality than the one I just played. And that, but there you are. That's the Edison phonograph. This is the key for winding. This is the mandrel. This is the boss that closes up on to hold the other end of the mandrel. This is the stylus. And this is the horn. And this thing that holds the horn up is called the crane. And uh, this is the, obviously the top for the case. Looks like a, a tiny sewing machine when it's put together. So I, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much. Goodbye.